got a new tequila business. You got the Toby Bar and Grills and stuff like that. When you're working on those things, and I know there's a lot of moving parts and businesses like that, do you ever, I mean, he's 16, but uh, I know with my son, I was sharing some info with him, and, you know, he, what is that? And you just talking to him, do you ever He'll share get the any empire. of those things? Hmm? He, he, yeah, I'd say he would be one of, you know, him between, you know, all three of my kids will have to take over this empire someday. And that's what we've built. And and these bar and grills are growing every day. The, um, you know, the liquor thing, you never know about that. That's a big, big world. You've been in that. But uh, you educate your kids and say, you know, hang on to what we've got here. Cause it, and I also try to teach them that it wasn't always this easy. You, know, you got everything you want. You know, we were – we're we're just you're just one generation away from white trash with money, you know what I mean. <laughs> so I know what it like. It's like not be able to pay your bills. You know, I can actually say I've had a trailer house repossessed. You know, so it, it's uh, you have to be really thankful every day and know that the only thing harder than making a lot of money is hanging on to it. I think some of us that have had some success as hillbilly singers have the same problem. I mean, how really do you? Is that a daily process? How do you get that message through to them? I mean, long term, so that they really do appreciate it. Well, the hardest part is that you, you want them to have a better life than you had. So you spend your days trying to make sure their life's better. At the same time, it's difficult to flip the other side of the coin. But every opportunity that I see, you know, like uh, when we had the tornadoes come through, I said, hey, you boys aren't playing Xbox today. You and your buddies are going to get one of my trucks – and a couple of my trailers, and you're going to go over there, and you're going to go over on 4th Street, and you're going to help people clean their houses up and get their stuff back in order, do some hauling, and, and get out and help some people out. That's what you're going to do for the next three or four days. That way you get to play Xbox for the next six months. But you got to understand that people are less fortunate than you. And they were like, first it was like, oh, God. And then it was like once they did it and they saw how really important it was and how much it affected the community. And it was like, oh, okay, we need to do this tomorrow. And so it was like three or four days in a row they went and did it. So I had a bunch of 16-year-olds running around dragging my equipment around from my farm over, you know, take, over hauling golf carts and trailers and stuff and dumping it in neighborhoods and, and running errands and getting water and, and hauling off uh, stuff where people could save their photo albums and stuff that didn't get blown away. And uh, it, was, it was pretty neat. It was kind of a self um uh, self-serving kind of thing in a way that you feel good about yourself after it's over. But, you know, you you just have to show them every way you can and hope that at the end they can make a difference, you know? Yeah, man. 